what does it mean to be Jewish? Do, do you have any idea? Nominated Alan Grossman. First time he ran for office. I got a fair idea. Right. Well, what, what does it mean, gener generally speaking, what does it mean to It means a very tight-knit race, which is very self-supporting. It supports other people of the same faith. They're intensely uh, family-oriented, very proud of their family, and the family is a unit, which I think is great. The Bible says that they are uh, the chosen people. Right. Well, yeah. what does that mean to you, then? Well, to me, that they're especially blessed, you know, that, that, that would mean that to me, you know. Right. And that would explain okay. the point, you know. Right. But uh, that's how I see it. Does so chosen people, it, it, like, I, I'm, I'm not following you. You think it means better? No, I don't think they're better. I just think that they probably get, well, more blessings in that sense than, than the other people, than our Gentiles. Right. Well, I think the Jews are real Christian people. The real Christian? I really think, yeah, I think they're real Christian people. What do, what do you mean by that? I'm, well, I'm sorry, I'm I think they're uh, real holy people. Wait, 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 but you're saying they're really Christian people? Yeah, they're real Christian people. They keep the they keep up Christmas and they keep up the they do good for a lot in the country. Do you know what a Jew is? Yes, yeah, religion, right? Right. What is a Jew? That's basically what we're asking people. Is someone who's part of religion, right? Part of a religion? Yeah. And like a Catholic, how, right? Sort of. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a way of life, right? Right. Okay. Uh, do you know how many Jews there are in the world? Uh, I don't imagine a lot. Uh, approximately. Five billion people in the world. How many Jews do you figure there are? Yeah, sounds good. Five billion, yeah. Beg your pardon? Five billion sounds pretty good. Five billion people in the world. How many of them are oh. Jews? Uh, maybe half. Half. I About don't 250 know. 250 million? There's a lot of them, yeah. Two, uh, 2.5 billion, though. Yeah. Thank you very much for your honesty, sir. Okay. It's hard to define. It's a different race, just like an Arab or a, an Ethiopian black or a Central European Hungarian or Czech or whatever, it's just a race. It means that it's somebody who has a very great faith in the Old Testament, but who doesn't believe that Jesus, has, the Messiah, has yet come. It's just someone from, who's Jewish, who's a Jewish person who's, I don't know, respects like all, uh, all like the different God that they believe in and, and all uh, how they have Christmas, like a different part of the year. Like they have Christmas in there in March or something, because when that's the day of the Passover meal or something like that, don't they have it? I think that some people that are Jewish don't hold up the religion, you know, like if their parents were or whatever. So I'm not really sure if it's a, a religion or if it's people that are from the country, Jerusalem, you know. But as a Jew, it's a person with a different nationality. But what like nationality? Israel. Jerusalem. <laughs> Israel, not Jerusalem. Israel. If you are born a Jew, in other words, you must be, um, you know, uh, somebody originating from Israel. This is a person that comes from a different place than here. Where, where do they come from? Um, where's it again? <laughs> Israel. Is it? Where? I don't know. I think somewhere in Africa, I'm not sure though. What makes a person a Jew? Because where they come from. Where they come from. Yes. So a Jew would come from? I think it's from Palestine. From Palestine? <laughs> yes. And how many but Jews? It used to be. Uh, what's now Palestine? A uh, person born in Israel, born in, uh, born under, I guess, in a Jewish religion, under Jewish religion, basically. Okay. So somebody born in Canada is also considered a Jew. That's true too. Never thought of it that way. Right. Boy, <laughs> I from a different country. Is Jewish? I don't know. <laughs> Different, different nationality? Yeah. yeah. Which country? I don't know. Right off hand. From okay. One of the European countries. From Europe? Yeah. My boyfriend is German, and I, I came from a small town in British Columbia, so I really didn't learn too much in history as far as between Germans and Jews. Well, the Jews are German people. They just have a different religion. A rich religious person, I guess, from Israel. Is, uh, that's what it means to me. Um, hey. uh, someone from Israel uh, with the Israeli faith. Uh, there are some uh, probably perceived negatives of of, uh, of Jewishness, um, having to do with uh, with dollars, that kind of thing. 
I say they got a lot of problems, right? They got a lot of aggression in them from all the, you know, all the stuff that's going on, right? So they come across towards, yeah, towards other people as very harsh, you know, especially, okay, even the Germans, but, you know, they bring it upon everybody, right? A lot of people are trying to help them, but there's not much you can do. A lot of them are nice, though. I've, I know a couple of them, and they're nice people to get along with, and a lot of them are wealthy from, through companies and very, very smart people, though. They know exactly what's going on and what they're doing in this society. They're making good money, though. Jews are really popular. I know that Jew people are really popular. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of Jewish people. And they just control. They seem to be controlling as if the way Chinese people are. They're creating new things. And Jewish people are all over the place. Like, they seem to, they seem like they own the place. What do you think it means to be Jewish? Usually lawyers or dentists. Lawyers or dentists. So so high uh, like high visibility. High in the socioeconomic uh, status. Wealthy. Right. Yeah. Well, what's your perception of the Jewish people? Well, being one myself, uh, although I'm not uh, very religious, I would think that uh, there is uh, probably a lot of uh, people who are uh, who have a lot of misconceptions and. Uh, exhibit a lot of uh, a lack of knowledge of uh, the Jewish religion and race and so on. And I, I feel that the result possibly, possibly there is that there are people within the Jewish religion in the, in the city of Toronto who, who, as in any religion, give that people's people a bad name. And this, unfortunately, uh, tends to be the result, result of a long history of, of uh, their having to go into certain professions. Uh, I think in medieval days they were, weren't allowed to go into certain professions. So as a result, they've gone into very... Uh, uh, highly visible professions such as lawyers and doctors and so on right. and they tend to make a lot of money therefore uh, people tend to think of all, most Jews as, as fairly wealthy I'm oh, not good. one myself but I'm not a wealthy one myself but there are a lot like that thank you very much you know, sir. thanks for your honesty you know in, in business if you find that in North America for example they control you know a large proportion of the economy so uh, yeah in business and then I believe in science also because you find that most, a lot of the scientists are also Jewish. Okay, so so you think you think in the economy and in, in the scientific community, mm -hmm. and, and specifically, what would you say? Um, I can't mention names, but you know, especially in medicine, you know, there are a whole lot of doctors that you know you find have names like Goldfarb or whatever. You know, those names are Jewish, of course. <laughs> well, traditional doctor, lawyer type of deal. Right. So I associate that with Jews. Yeah. Okay. okay. Business-wise, yes. Business-wise. Yeah, that's the, probably the biggest impact that the Jews are making. I think, not religious-wise, I don't think. Why do you think Jews are such good businessmen? Because <coughs> they came from, they had to, uh, they came from their own country, and then uh, to a foreign country, and they need to uh, make a living. So that's that's the that's the thing they know. So they have to. It, it would seem that everybody that's everybody comes from another country here, yeah. in, in fact, and and has to make a living. Well, why would you say Jews have been more successful or or, or are in fact good businessmen? Uh, it's a tradition. It's a, they're I don't know. they it's, it's a kind of a way back tradition uh, in, in the Jewish, Jewish uh, religion, I guess. They probably rule the whole uh, city, how many thought? They, they, they rule America? By, by fi financially. Financially ruling, uh, ruling America. Yeah. They seem to get way, uh, get materially, materially, they seem to get a lot of money and they are doing all right. Uh, <laughs> um, they were very sorry. good in business, very good like Reichmann's, all right, and uh, they're in jewelry. They're very good business people, right. and they seem to get ahead. Well, I just think they're rich, mostly, and I associate them with stores and furniture and stuff, eh? Well, why, why do you think that is, that they're rich? Well, because, because they seem to be in most business enterprises. Right. Yeah, and a lot of people make fun of them, like at school. Like, you know, like what do they say? Like, <laughs> like if someone, um, yeah, they, they always, they always make uh, they always make fun of like, their hats. They say they have big noses and they pick up pennies. <laughs> what, what, what do you think it is to be a Jew? What do you think it is? Pretty sad. Okay. Well, for what reason? 
people calling you Jew. I okay. just don't like that. Okay, what, what does it so, mean? Like you're on welfare and all that. Who are you putting? You're on welfare. Pick up pennies and all. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, so like... Like some people call you Jews because, you know, pick up pennies and all that. Okay, where do you... Well, just do you want to expand upon that? you think that's what it means to be a Jew? Not really. Like, if you're a so Jew, they think just... that Jews are not religious. Cheap with money sometimes. And big nose. <laughs> Cheap with money, big nose, right? No, uh, just um, dark. Hair. Just their religions different. And their religions they just different. Penny picture. Yep. Yeah. Cheap. What else? What else do you think um, of? You think of to make fun of them. Rich. Yeah. Rich. rich. Very lawyers. rich. Lawyers. Successful people. Yes. See, it's like you think of the opposite because, like, you know, I know some Jewish people, and everybody makes fun that they're cheap, but really they're rich and they're lawyers and they yeah, have a lot of money. Yeah, because they're rich, right? So let me ask you a question: Why do you think that is that they have the reputation for being rich and successful? They are. <laughs> oh, because a lot of them are lawyers in Toronto, and a lot of them have hired like good, respectable jobs and good making money type people, right? People say you're a Jew. It's because, because I don't know. I guess Jewish people just. That's why they have so much money, because they know what to do with their money, and they don't waste it, and they wouldn't waste it like other people. So people respect them as being, like, they'd say that word, Jew, because they think you're not, like, you're a Jaime-type person. See what I mean? Okay. I was wondering, weren't they the ones who killed Jesus? Yeah, they were. Uh, weren't they? That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah Jesus was Jesus a Jew. Was a they Jew. killed their, their own their kind. Own God. They're still waiting for their God to come, or so that, so it's been said. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just thought he was some crazy man. It is a Jew. Oh, he's a gentleman to me. You know, after all, Jesus was a Jew, eh? So uh, I would say I have a Jewish friends, and uh, and uh, I haven't had a bad one yet. There's some other beliefs that they don't keep Christmas or um. I forget the name of it. It's a church to go to. Like the Worldwide Church of God and stuff like that. They don't give Christmas. But they do things like have their own meat stores and things like I don't know. <laughs> but I thought they, they always have their own types of stores and that yeah, kind of thing. Small businesses. Yeah. Their own businesses, yeah. Well, I've had occasion to tell somebody, because they're Jewish, because we celebrate our Christmas, uh, I have occasion to call them uh, Scrooge because they don't want us to celebrate our Christmas, but they have their Annika. Right? Jews are a child of God. God chose Jews as his children. And uh, they need to watch what's going on in the Middle East right now because they say the Lord in the East is coming. It's coming soon. And, and uh, over in the East over there where the Jews are, you know, Jesus was a Jew even. And uh, you know back in World War II they had the Holocaust and a lot of Jews were slaughtered and killed, you know. It's not right. I want this guy. Um, so what, what, what do you think of when you think of Jews? I have nothing against Jews over there. Um, no, I love him like a brother. Jewish people are, uh, they don't believe in God, you know. And uh, God chose them as their children. It's, it's really hard to understand that. Wait, wait, wait a sec. They don't believe in God? They have Hanukkah and all that. No, no, no. So before you said they don't believe in God. I don't, I don't understand that. There are some, some Jews, you know, they think back to, uh, I guess, when Jesus was chosen as a child, child for them and, and uh, stuff like that. As far as, as, uh, as racism with other ethnic groups, I don't think the Jews have that. I don't think they are racially, um, people are against them racially, as they are against other ethnic groups, specifically the physically. You mean Toronto, you mean? Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, but in the, in the context of the world, in, the, in history, that, that, that would seem to be just self-evident that that wasn't true. Well, I, I don't think I'm the right person to answer that question. I'm not really that involved with it at no, all. No, no. Jewish people are people who are very religious about Hanukkah and take great pride in their religion. Although some people don't, Although. I think that, that... Some people don't take pride in... Religion. Right, but the Jewish Jews do. Some do, some, but a lot of them do, and some don't. Not right. All. Do you have any perceptions about the Jewish people? Not in anything bad, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're like bad or anything. I just think they're like, just like me or you. 
Just like... Me or you. Right. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome. Well, the original Jews were sure didn't look nothing like they did today. Right. Many of the great, so-called great minds of the Jewish people were from the Greeks or from someone else. Or the they Greeks. Were, after the barbarians, they came around and they entered Greece and they've, they've transformed a good 25% of Greece into Jewish population. You mean converting them? Exactly. Oh, I, I think you're mistaken. Jews never were a conversion religion, according to what the stuff that I've read. They oh, were never, I don't know. They, they, they've never converted anyone. They're, they're not a conversion religion. Well, I, I, okay, no, I was thinking about great minds in terms of like uh, yeah, Einstein, Freud, yeah, Jesus, Paul, they're, they're, they're all Jews. You know? I don't think that's very fair, right? okay? No, I, I don't think that's very good. No, the, re the, reason, the reason I say that is because about five billion people are in the world today, yeah. and only about half a percentage of that are Jews, about yeah. 14 million. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and so you're giving them credit for their great name, okay? No, I'm just saying that... The, the, I'm uh, saying, though, they did a damn good conversion job because the people with the most open minds ch changed, okay? And therefore, they got stuck with becoming the, the great so-called great minds. Right. And that's why the Jews got stuck with the great mind name. The Jewish people think that Christ was born for them. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was to say, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm not a Jew. I don't know. You know? Okay. But I had a couple of girlfriends that were Jewish. No problem. No, I didn't. You know, and a lot of them were like, um, the parents were uh, Holocaust victims and things like that too, eh? But uh, basically, they're just average people, you know, average things. That's about it, you know? Just middle of the road average? You wouldn't say there's yeah. anything different about them than anyone else? Mm, no, but I will compliment them on one thing. I think we need more of them in the federal government, you know? They got this. <laughs> they know how to do things, eh? A bit more mature, a bit stoic type of people. Um, um, you go in their homes, they treat you right, you know? You know, so that's about it, eh? It's just, it's just, people are people. They're all the same, really, eh? That's about it, eh? Thank you very much. That's no, great. that's all right. Anyway, good luck with the traffic tonight, eh? Thanks. <laughs> to be Jewish? Yeah, one or two cents is on what it is. Hard. It's hard to be Jewish? In Why this that? society. Why is that? It's not as bad as it was. There's a lot of prejudice. Right. Um, I think the way the Christians have interpreted, uh, interpreted the um, prophecies of the Old Testament uh, in a way that the Jewish people cannot accept must be really difficult for them, almost like seeing uh, their sacred texts uh, perverted. Right. That okay. uh, must be very hard for them. Uh, I think it must be hard in this society for any minority that is not Christian. Right. Okay. Um, I have a, okay uh, but did you have any perceptions on what it is that makes them a distinct, different people? Um, their sense of history, I think. Their history. Uh, and that's written right into the right into the Torah. The idea of a God who intervenes in history, right. and that's that seems to me relatively unique amongst the world's religions. Okay, um, there's five billion people extant in the world today, uh -huh. and out of what out of five billion, how many people would you say are Jews? Just to hazard a guess. Hundred million. Okay, sir, I want to ask you, well, thanks very much for your answer. I would like to ask you one question, one final question. Help yourself. There's a, you say there's 100 million people. I'm guessing. Right. There's, there's 14 million. There's less than half a percent of the world's really? population is, is Jewish, less than half a percent. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like, well, how, why would you pick such a large number? Well, I figure Israel's a country. It's full mainly of, of Jews. It's, uh, I think, you know, England's like 50 million people. And then I think of the... Uh, how many people do you figure are in Israel? Of the dispersion. Um... 20 million? Right. Okay, thanks very much, sir. Thanks for your answer. Yeah, uh, there's only 14 in the world, and Israel only has about three. Incredible they've had such an influence with such a small number of people. It is, yeah. They really have. It is. Thank you very much, sir. Um, well, you know, I have Friday night dinners at home with my family. Um, I'm not very religious, but, I mean, I know some Jewish families who are Orthodox go to synagogue or whatever Saturday, and, you know, so but what does it mean to you to be Jewish? Just, just, Nothing uh, much. I mean, it's nice. I, religion really doesn't mean anything to me. I just, I'm, I'm, if when I get married, I'm going to carry on the normal thing that my mom does Friday night dinner, you know, but so nothing. You, th you think you're, you're going to be Jew you're going to marry a Jewish person? And you want to no, you children? see, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, because I said to my mom, I said, if I married a non-Jewish person, would you approve? And she said, well, I... I would, I can't do anything, but she would rather marry a Jewish person, but it's not that I'm going to. So you're really to. not going to keep the same traditions as your mother? Well, I mean, if I'm in love with somebody, I mean, I'm not going to really worry about no, no, religion. No, what I'm saying is, like, you're not going to keep the same traditions as your mother. 
But well, my mom doesn't really keep tradition. It's just Friday night dinner, and all the family just gets together for dinner, and that's it. You know? Just just Friday night dinner. Yeah. None of the holidays or. Uh... The holidays, yeah, family gets together, but we don't make a big deal about it or anything. All right, so. it's not really a religious thing. It's just kind of a thing everyone just does. Right. They're good I have people. Lots, I have lots of good friends among the Jewish people. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. just any other perceptions about the Jewish people as a whole? Well, you know? I say that they uh, put a lot of money okay. into the environment and everything. Okay. So yeah. they're ph philanthropists. And yeah. They, and they, yeah. They give a lot to like. They put yeah. a lot back into the country. Yeah. Oh, sure they, they do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. I can't understand. No, I can't understand. Have anything against them? No. Nope. Right. Anti-Semitism. You mean? Yeah. Like the, the, yeah. No, I don't right. believe in that. I believe in we're all like both. Yeah. Why should we talk about Jews? They don't exist. They lost their culture, their language, every tradition. Why should we talk about them? They don't exist here in the Ukraine. It's a pity we didn't keep them alive, because for a long time we were together. Your Jewish friends don't leave for Israel? Yes, some leave. Why? I think just to change the atmosphere. Only for that? Yeah. So you think that even people who are not liked here should stay? Yes, they should prove themselves. They should struggle. Do you have any Jewish friends? Can I be excused? They're smart, they're kind, and they're rich. Their families put them into musical schools, they make them culturally aware, in literature, not like Russians who only know how to work. They're very well-rounded, they're very developed. Do you know any Jews who went to Israel? Yeah, for a few years already. I don't really care. It means they don't want to be together with us. It's better in Israel. There's food and clothing. Do you think they're richer? Yeah. They have more connections. What kind of connections? They have a very strong bond of friendship. They help each other. It's very well seen outside of Russia. They have a very positive opinion. They're very business-like, very clever, they're hard-working. My son-in-law is a Jew. My wife is Russian. We have full internationalism in our family. And I think it's, it's very foolish to say the Jews are bad. What about the Germans, the Ukrainians, the Russians? Everybody is similar. Personally, I don't like them very much. I think the Jewish question has been blown out of proportion by the Jews themselves. They're everywhere. They're in every country. It's not by chance God chose the Jewish people to be an example for others. What does that mean, they're the chosen people? I think they were chosen to be an example of how people should live. But they changed and became bad. They began to sin. That's why they're being chased by people. It's their punishment for wrongs. Even in America, in the 50s and 30s, why have the Jews suffered so much? They weren't a very good example. They just have very strong family ties. 
and they just help each other all the time. And when they're ready to leave, they have people to go to. You understand, if we could just leave, we wouldn't go because we don't have anybody there. I know that nobody's going to help me to get myself together and get out. But Jews keep together, even old people and young people. They're all together, but we cannot do it this way. It's not the same thing for us. This friendship bond between Jews is very strong. They just keep together. It's amazing. Well, I, I like Jews. I respect them. Why? They're very clever, they're smart. They treat their children well. They have good families. Their culture is very ancient, and I, I think we don't know them well enough. Hello, I'm Ricky Magder. I've asked many people why they are so intrigued and often amazed after watching the video that you've just seen. I think the answer is that, for many of us, it strikes an emotional chord. On the one hand, we can't believe the responses coming from within a community where Jews are so visible. And on the other hand, it makes us question our own identity. We wonder you know, how we would answer the same questions if they were asked of us. What you're about to see is a compilation of images from some 18 hours of footage I shot this past summer in the Soviet Union while taking part in the first camp for Jewish children in the city of Kharkov in the Ukraine. Despite numerous attempts by the KGB to close it down, the Joseph K. Miller camp continued to operate. With the threat of constant physical harassment and persecution, the children, as well as the Russian staff, many of whom have had uh, lost their jobs because of their involvement with the camp, continued in their commitment to learn about their Jewish heritage and ultimately to answer the question, what is a Jew? Intercut with this footage, you'll see the field of Drabitsky R where thousands of Jews were murdered. A small monument with no mention of the word Jew marks this mass grave, which has now become a garbage dump. The Sefer Torah, which was once the focal point of a thriving Russian community, is now a relic in an antique shop in Moscow. My experience in Russia is one that I'll never forget. For me, it was a lesson. A lesson to appreciate that living in a society where freedom and the opportunity to practice religion is, is everyone's right and should never be taken for granted. This, I hope, will be a lesson for us all. For 15 centuries we called this land our home. We love the Russian soil as much as anyone. In countless armies our young boys have died for you But never did you call them sons, you always called them Jews We fell in battle for the Tsar A hundred thousand died at Babylon And yet no monument will mark their grave just on our passports, the word Yevre. We are leaving Mother Russia. We have waited far too long. We are leaving Mother Russia when they come for us. They lived without hope, alone inside the cell. But I have a vision of my home in Israel. My friends, we know what silence brings. Another Hitler waiting in the wings. So stand up now and shout a tune. 
the sky. They may bring us to our knees, but we'll never die. We are leaving Mother Russia.